What's going on you guys? You already know it's your girl, I'm Kabana X, and we are here for another episode for the I'm Kabana X show. And I have two special guests with us, artist D Jersey and Meech God. Thank you for having us. You already thank know. You, thank you, thank you. Okay, so tell the viewers a little bit about your guys' self. Um, so we're brothers. Uh, we're from Kansas City. Right? We moved here in 2010, and we moved back in 2015. But the way life was in Kansas, it didn't really compare to here, man. Like, yeah, how's Kansas it's, like? Man, Kansas is it's beautiful. It has its, it has its beauty, but it has its dark places as well. It's not a place that many people make it out of or have any like desire to make it out of, you know. It's, it's part of the murder. It's one of the murder capitals. You know? but, really? Yeah. Like, wow, I had no idea. Yeah. So I thought Orlando was bad. <laughs> nah, like Kansas City. Kansas City what? is bad. You know, part. we stay out of the way. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't experience a lot, dabbled and stuff. You know, but we know that's not us. Like that's there was better for us. You know, so while we were there, going through what we were going through, you know, we'd be watching YouTube. Like that, honestly, like built our character you know it made our day when we were down like just watching different uh channels mm -hmm. and he brought it to my attention one day he's like man we need to make a youtube and so i started watching it at first i wasn't with it but i'm like i'm like bro this would be good for my brand because i was already making music so uh from there we just kept watching you know we tried it a few times while we were in kansas that actually got a lot of views our first video got like 500 yeah. off rip four or five hundred right it's hard to get views on youtube they're stingy with watching yeah so, so that's good yeah so oh also our youtube is meech and drizzy go subscribe don't be stingy you got? <laughs> that's m-e-e-c-h-n-d-r-i-z-z-y -E 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 <laughs> right <laughs> but yeah so we started there um and the whole time we just like yo we got to get to florida like it's just more opportunity and we just kept saying we were gonna make it like we just manifested that and we got the opportunity to do it and as soon as we did we took it and from then we first moved here man we was homeless like we didn't have anything honestly man i was staying with my homie bro it was like eight of us in a two-bedroom apartment yeah. so, oh man that's hard yeah you know but today we got a five-bedroom house like that's within a year so okay, and so and also like our subscribers this time last year was at 79 we're over 1000 so right like yo, it's, we was grinding. You feel right. me? Things are moving. Yeah, so yeah, we good. we glad we came out here. But yeah, what's different from here in Kansas City is the energy. But people are, are more friendly here. I would say, you know. And like this I said, such a shock to me. <laughs> they are like, hey, I don't, not to not Florida, bro. Y'all y'all got some attitude. Y'all got some attitude problems. Y'all look crazy, Just but. A little <laughs> yeah, but but it's more friendly here than it is where we come from. Where mm. we come from, you gotta watch your back. You walk in the streets, you know. So mm. you don't really walk the streets, to be honest. But yeah. Okay. Okay. So Florida's like a little bright sunshine. Oh yeah, for sure. This is, this is paradise for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Jersey, wanna you know put anything into um, that? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to when you were saying like when we was like living in Kansas. Um, honestly. You know, I used to go to when I, when, I, when I was in high school. I stopped going off like after my sophomore year, and that's mostly because it was like I didn't like the energy around them. Mm -hmm. Like I just didn't feel good around that environment. Right. So I ended up doing online school and graduated mm -hmm. in six months. So that time being like within those two years, plus of us being in Kansas. I was just like in the crib like all day, right? Like, all day, like I spent like a, I spent like a whole year like just in the crib. Like yeah. he'd be he'd be going to work. I didn't work anything. I was just in the house all day. Yeah. But that that did lead to depression and all that. But, but I was gonna say that can lead to you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Depression, but anxiety. at the same time, I'm glad that that happened because I, I had time to learn myself. Like like, what do I like? What do I dislike? Where are my insecurities? Mm -hmm. And like in due time, I realized I'm like yo. I just like to. I'm an introvert. Like that's right. that's how I am. But I learn right. how to like, associate, like talk to people. Like, Put like learn how there. to hold a conversation yeah. and all that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I'll say I learned yeah. how to love myself to the yeah. fullest extent. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. No, that's definitely relatable. So a lot of people can understand where you're coming from. But for sure. So with the content creating and all that, what led to the music? Tell me a little bit about your music experience. Um. Well, what led to the music? Mm -hmm. I would say, really, like. Pain, honestly, mm -hmm. like like just mm -hmm. feeling pain, like like just people like screwing you over or like mm -hmm. that's mostly like what we talk about for real. Yeah. But you know we talk about other stuff, of course. But that's like one of the main things, yeah. of, like for now. And I'll say a deep subject. So yeah, yeah. You 
turn pain to love. Right, right. What about you, me? <laughs> uh, what got me started, I would say uh, heartbreak and struggling, man. Um, at the time, I was in a relationship for like five years. So okay. that girl was my best friend. Oh. Um, she broke that off. I didn't really talk to anybody at the time. Like him, I was an introvert. I didn't really talk to anybody. Uh, so I didn't really have anyone to talk to about my feelings. And she actually had bought me a journal. I already told mm-hmm. her, I'm like, yo, I want to make music. Yeah. But I didn't know where to start. But that was my subject right there. That's right. where it started. Um, from there, I would just write my feelings towards her, just towards people without telling them, just write how I felt. Mm-hmm. Uh, that turned into poetry. Yeah. And then... I would tell some. I would tell one of my friends at work. Shout out Travis. Uh, I would tell him. I would tell him, "Yeah, I'm gonna make a song." And one day he kind of like pulled my car. He's like, "Man, you always tell me you don't do it. You never do it." It's like, "All right, I'm gonna do it." Right. And so, at the time, I was staying somewhere else. So I go visit my brother, and I'm like, "Yo, I wrote this song. Help me find a beat." And I decided to go with the uh, Otis, re- uh, Otis remix with oh, nice. Jay Z and Kanye. Yeah. yeah. Nice, He's nice. like, "That's it." So we recorded it. I put it out and the results were like so dope like my mm-hmm. dms went crazy and okay what was dope was that i was able to relate to people people were like yo i relate to this part or i like that part i wasn't expecting that from you but that helped me get out my shell where it's like okay you're not alone like you're not the only person feeling this way you know other people are too they just don't talk about it so i'm like oh, i'm about to be the voice for the people then like right. i'm about to keep sticking with it and i couldn't stop like i wasn't good at first but i just stuck with it so i would say the heartbreak did it the most mm-hmm. and then also struggling man you want to get out of your situation so right. yeah right. okay man that's deep guys i don't know if you're feeling me but i'm feeling it <laughs> so we talked about you know the um, music the fact that you guys do a little bit of content creating i know that you guys have a brand and you're wearing your brand oh yeah so tell all me right. a little bit about the brand all right so <laughs> our merch name is md the m is for Misha guy the d is for Deidre. okay Yes. So peep Let's the back. Actually, this this was from our first video with our first song. You got the T-shirt on too. I just peeped oh, that. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> flex on okay. one time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. Man, promote yourself. Stop wearing all that designer and make your own. You know, <laughs> it'll cut down prices too. But yeah. So meet you and Jersey. We're gonna have a website up soon. But if you're interested in some of the merch, just DM one of us. Uh, we'll give you our Instagrams after this. Oh, true, true, true. Okay, so, you know, you guys are up and coming, making it big here and doing everything like that. What would be your advice for new and upcoming artists who are just now coming out? Oh, all right, so i say stay consistent. Like, like, if you can envision it, if you have it in your head, you can make it become your reality. That, that goes for anything, honestly. Like, say, if you want to be like a doctor or a musician, football player the NBA player it does not matter if you if you working towards something every day and you stay consistent with a positive mindset it will happen in due time there's no way you can work for something your whole entire life and not like receive any reward after that like you just have to stay consistent Mm -hmm. see the vision and stick to that vision just don't give up (laughs) and my advice would be don't care (laughs) <laughs> excuse my language but right, don't right. give it you know don't care at all like if you feel it that's really all that matters like like for me i got a select group i got like two or three people i show my music to outside of him but even then it's just like if you feel it that's all that really matters if it's something that you're passionate about it gives you that that like some type of high i would say stick with it like that would be my advice stick with it For your goals for 2021, what are your accomplishments? What are you guys trying to, you know, do this year? Um, honestly, our, our goals are like already like unfolding. They're manifesting. Yeah, already. <laughs> like a month ago, we uh, started writing our 2021 goals down, and off rip has been happening like fast. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm pretty sure like not all of them are going to happen within that year. Well, this year, of course, because. It's, so much okay so but at the same they time might. they're still happening yeah they might <laughs> right, of course right. but yeah like mm-hmm. they're happening so fast i'll say like write down your goals like when you write down your goals and you envision that mm-hmm. it, there's a higher chance it will happen because words hold energy like, that's what's called right. spelling mm-hmm. but yeah like, like honestly like facts <laughs> um i would say for for the youtube i just want our subscribers to keep growing i just want to keep impacting people uh, musically, I want our music to get big enough 
to be able to perform in front of crowds when everything opens back up. Like, mm -hmm. it will be dope to I be at- I can see you guys at like, Sound Bar for sure. Yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like, it'd be dope if, you know what I'm saying, we could be at Rolling Stone, uh, Rolling Loud next year. <laughs> Rolling Loud next year. Forgive me, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. yeah, like, I just want to be able to perform. And make it in Rolling Stone, right? Yeah, <laughs> make it in Rolling Stone. See, she just manifested that for us. But yeah, man, I just want the music to grow to where we impact and people internationally well that's kind of already happening but like mm -hmm. you know just we, i want to be big overseas man right. for sure so, cool. yeah. mm -hmm. okay okay true so um as far as the message to the viewers what is your guys's personal message to the viewers at the end of the day um i would say like just what like what i just said like if you envision it you can make it become your reality like mm -hmm. like i really do mean it like Whoever is watching this, I do care about you. Like, it just love. Like, there's enough negativity as it is. Like, there's no reason for me to have like envy towards anyone. Mm -hmm. And I go for like anyone else. Okay. Uh, first, put yourself first. Do what makes you happy. Like, try new things. Get out of your comfort zone. Things that are gonna help you grow. Uh, treat people how you want to be treated. Um, what did you, you mention? Envy? Yeah. Don't hate on nobody, man. Your time gonna come. Mm -hmm. Your your time gonna come. You know what I'm saying? If you see somebody in a position, you know, that's higher than yours, keep elevating them. Your time go come, they gonna do the same. So, yeah, man, lead with love. Okay, so where can we find your guys' social media, music, website, everything about you guys? All right, so I'm going to say um, my Instagram is official Drizzy. So that's official D-E-E-D-R-Z-Z-Y. And then um, our YouTube is Meech and Drizzy. Uh, it, well, when you search Meech and Drizzy, MD will pop up because we just changed the name to MD. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But uh, if you don't know how to spell Meech and Drizzy, it's M-E-E-C-H-N. Like it's not N, but N, then Drizzy, D-R-Z-Z-Y. And then my Instagram is Meech God, that's M-E-E-C-H-G-O-D. So before we wrap it up and everything, is there anything else you guys want to let, you know, the people know? Stick to your vision and don't care. <laughs> All right, really, stick true. to your vision and do not care. Because it, my fault, my fault. But look, 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 I, I, I'm going to just say, like, <laughs> people who hate on you are going to, like, my fault. People who hate on you, like, if you are, like, what's the word for it? Um, my fault yeah people who hate on you like they're afraid of what you're doing mm -hmm. like like say say someone's like succeeding in something mm -hmm. and people are hating on that person because they want to be in that situation right they they right. want to be they're there <laughs> but but it's like there's no reason to mm -hmm. there's no reason to because you can do the same thing right all you gotta do is stop hating and start caring about yourself get your just, mind right yeah, start mm -hmm. taking action within that's yourself true. that's true that's nice. uh my message is yes stick to your vision but keep your vision on us as well <laughs> we gonna keep coming. Don't sure, forget. Sure. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. <laughs> keep the night cool away from me. We up. Right. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we lit. We lit for real. Just keep watching. It's gonna keep getting better. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, once again, I appreciate you both for coming on the show. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for having me. Thank well, you. Us. My <laughs> of Thank course. You <laughs> of course. Well, guys, um, it's been wonderful having you on the show. Once again, thank you for everyone who tunes in every single week to watch another episode for the I'm Kubana X show. Make sure you guys stay tuned, like this one, and you already know. Peace out. We out. We out. Love y'all.